Good afternoon, year five, and welcome back to school. We hope you had a lovely half term. This week in DR, we're going to be looking at questioning. So what is questioning? Questioning is when we ask questions to seek information. Why do we ask questions? We ask questions so we can think more deeply about the whole text and check our understanding as we read. So what makes good questions? Asking more open-ended questions will encourage us to think about the text. The questions in bold are more likely to be open questions, but can also be closed questions. For example, why was he feeling sad? This is a closed question. Why do we think Harry acted in that way? This is more of an open question. Today, you are going to need your full belly. You have just had lunch. An active brain, a piece of paper, a pen or a pencil, and chapter eight of Beowulf. Today, we will be continuing with the text of Beowulf while practicing our questioning skills. Throughout today's session, make sure you have read chapter eight. As a starter, write down three key events that have happened so far in the story. So let's look at some key vocabulary today. 50. 50 is a number. For example, there are 50 calories in an apple. Swooped. Swooped is to move very quickly and easily through the air, especially down from a high position in order to attack. And gazed. To look at something or someone for a long time, especially in surprise or admiration, or because you are thinking about something else entirely. Beowulf returned to the land of the Geats, where he ruled for 50 years. He led warriors in battles against fierce beasts and savage, savage monsters. All of his enemies feared him. Beowulf, the killer of Grendel. What can we do? asked one. Fight back, replied another. Beowulf sat in silence, gazing around the hall. It reminded him of Hera all those years ago. So here are some key questions we want you to look at today. What kinds of open questions could we ask about King Beowulf now? For example, why do people still fear, fear him even after 50 years? What questions could you ask the king as he stood in silence? How could a question, sorry, the question could be, what is he thinking? And your activity today is a true or false task. Below, there are some questions that we want you to mark whether or not they are true or false. And your challenge question today is imagine you are one of the villagers in King Beowulf's kingdom. Write down an open and closed question that you might want to ask the king about.